<laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to Joanne's Plants. Before we get started in this very short video, I want to say I hope you guys are safe and are healthy. This video is going to be about my houseplant box that I downgraded from the premium box that they have to their regular size houseplant box. And like I've said before, houseplant box is a monthly subscription. You get a box of plants based on your preference. They have six different kinds you can choose from. I've tried their premium. If you see my two previous videos, you can go check them out if you like. And I was not happy with my last box, so I downgraded to a $12 box. And we're gonna see what I got this time. So my indoor houseplant box total was $16.97, $12 for the subscription, which is one plant in the box, and then $3.50 for shipping and $1.47 for tax. So let's see what I got. I just wanna say that I did open the box um, when I first got it outside and threw the box away, wearing gloves and everything, so there won't be an actual unboxing. I'm just gonna be showing what I got. And honestly, I haven't felt like, I don't know, opening the box, the plan and so on. So I've kind of just like left it the last few days. So I'm sure you could have used a little TLC that more than it needed when first got here. So yeah. Well, this is what I got. Um, I think this might be a four inch. It's a dumb cane. Yes. And it's yellowing. I'm guessing that's because it's, it needs water. And I didn't take it out of the box and bag that it's in since it got here. So that's probably my fault. So. This one is a Diffenbachia Camille. And it's or it originates from North and South America in the West Indies. It requires, oh, this plant will sunburn in direct sunlight and the leaves will yellow and curl, placed in low light. This plant likes to be kept fairly moist, so they'll be sure to water when the top inch of the soil is dry. And it's definitely dry now since it's been with me for like a few days and I didn't water it yet myself. The common issues with this plant is the sap from the leaves and stem is poisonous to cats. Root rot and stem rot can occur in soggy soil. It's really cute and I don't have this plant, so that's nice. I've seen a lot of it in the stores, but I haven't gotten one myself. So that's fun. Yeah, this is a little instruction that I got with it. And it's really cute. I did a four inch pot and Ooh, there's a new leaf I'm gonna uncurl soon over here. So that's nice. I'm gonna have to do some work. I'm gonna have to clean it out, spray it down. And I'm really happy that I got it. It definitely needs a little loving, but I got some new leaves. I'm gonna have to pluck off the yellow ones so the plant doesn't give off the energy on those hopeless ones. So overall, um, this plant was $16 and 90 something cents, so let's say $17, and it was much smaller than, compared to the other one, so that's kind of sad, and I kind of want to go back to my regular, <laughs> even though it's like twice the amount, but I got like six inch pot plants and tall and I don't know. So I'm kind of thinking of going back, but maybe until after this whole thing is over, but anyway. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you coming by. And say hi to my new little plant. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. If you don't like this video, don't forget to give it a dislike. And leave a comment down below on why or why not and any tips you may have about this plant because I would appreciate it because I'm a little nervous. I killed my first plant that I got, that I unboxed in this channel already, so 
some tips will be nice. Thank you. So we're outside on my balcony right now. And I wanted to give you guys an update on what the plant looks like now. It's been a little over three weeks. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay home if you can, and bye.